started around 5 o'clock. I was praying silently first and then I opened my mouth to start singing. I wasn't loud because compared to what I normally sing, it was way, you know, it, it was moderate for my standard. I don't know for them. But when she came and she told me that I was waking up um, 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 then we, like Auntie Nevis, I was disturbing Nevis. I said, Auntie, when it comes to my praise and worship, I don't want you to um, disturb me and worship in God. But you can take out the clothes off of the door and close the room. And she did that. And I continued praying for maybe like um, an hour or two. I was still worshiping and praying and being in the presence of the Lord. Because guess what? I noticed that in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And when it comes to my praise and worship, that is the only time I will clash with anyone. So when... When I was worshiping, I heard a knock on my door. It was a complete stranger. I don't know what happened before you baptized. That is not supposed to be in the house. Remember, it's supposed to be me, her, and Auntie Mary is that in the house. She keeps inviting people in the house. So when that man knocked on my door and tell me, um, hey, you worshiping too long, you have to be quiet. You will disturb him today. I said, are you serious? I'm in my own father's house, worshiping God, giving God glory, and you come in my room telling me to not to praise my God. Even if I cannot praise God in the church or on the street, you will not come in my own father's house and tell me to be quiet. I tell him, did I come to your home and tell you not to worship your God? I say we must all worship God. You know, fear God. Like, everybody work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. Because salvation is not by us. I will not tell you to worship God. You cannot tell me to worship God. You understand? So when that confusion happened, she said, you see, you, my auntie there, she said, you see, you, if you're not listening and you're not going to be quiet and stop doing, you know, that worshiping, then you have to move tomorrow. I said, me, a whole daughter of Zion in her father's house, glorifying God, a complete stranger who is in my house and who I'm willing to abide in peace with, you telling me I have to leave my house. Then I say, you know what, Auntie Mavis, do I have, do, do you have a problem with me worshiping in the room? Oh, she said, oh yes, oh yes, I have a big problem with that. I have a big problem with you worshiping God. I say, so you, a complete stranger in my house that I'm allowed to live in peace with me. You telling me that you cannot live in peace with me in my own father's house. I say, well, it is not done. If you think you can cast me out of my own father's house for worshiping God, not looking for your trouble, or in my room, in my own private room, and you guys have a problem with it, it's only the devil that would have a problem with worshiping God. I say, guess what? If you are not willing to worship God with me in my house or live, willing to live in peace, you and you have to leave my father's house because none of them is supposed to be here. According to her instruction, she said, my, my father gave an instruction to let nobody in the house. And it is because she denied me access to my father's house. That's why I told her on the phone, Auntie, I come in peace. But for some reason, it's like, I don't know what's going on in St. Lucia because you guys are denying me access to my father's house. I will break the gate. And that's why I did that. So that was the confusion for the, for the first day. So she never let me in. So she said, my father said, no, let nobody in. But I kid you not, the whole of this area has been in my father's that's house. That's She's lying. That's that's so that is the issue. My praise and my worship is being hindered. Okay. Wonder if you... Officer, this morning, around 5 o'clock. I, as I tell you, I, 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 I she in the room and looked at her out. I'm sitting on the couch. She's sitting in the other room. When I woke up, I'm hearing a lot of singing, a lot of freezing, a lot of shouting. So I went to work and I knocked her. Uh -uh, just I just didn't let that be I tell her, see you now. She's not your only one. She's sleeping and I'll be with you. Can you please bring your voice down? Auntie, that's the time that is today's my worship day. I said, is that, I'm not telling you not to worship God. I just tell you. Just bring down your voice for me, please. Then she said, Okay, Auntie, take out the clothes and the top. And then I closed the room. About five minutes, she came outside with the tablet, singing, doing the same thing, going to the bathroom, burning the door. No. She left the bathroom and then she went back in the room. She didn't close the room, she lived down in the room. So then when I go back, I tell her, May the door on on the door has a problem. So her sister, her reason, her brother, will come and fix the room. So the guy was just going into the room and just knocking to tell her that he, she will hear a little noise because of the drill. She already said the guy walked into, into her room. When Baptist is not a stranger, Baptist is always in top of You know, that's all what I said. And then she started bringing her voice up. So I cannot stand down if her. I tell her, if she don't want to go for my knees, She'll have to leave tomorrow. You understand? That's all I say. And then she came and she asked her, 
if she's disturbing her. She said yes, but I'm not saying anything. And that is the story. I give you my story. Miss Lewis. So I'm not running nothing. Can I hear then I heard um, I saw on the on the door. I told her to lower her voice down. She didn't lower her voice down. She started even higher, going to the bathroom, slamming the bathroom door. So Laura, she went back to her and like she can't keep her voice up, keep the noise down. She's gonna have to leave. That's it. That's it. I, I feel that the Lord, I'm not gonna say nothing because it's not my place to say anything to her. No, 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 some things are experiencing it on Tuesday and you just seem to understand And I say to you, I say to you tonight, what I said to you, have it spent. She has no right to the property that you know. Unless you can prove it that way, she has no right to the property. I came here this morning and I saw something I was confused with. And the lady is telling me she feels like a prisoner in the house because she cannot leave that day. And what you mean there? It's in the You come up. You have your rights to the property at its stands. You come up. Put a lock on the. You come up, put a lock. On the gate and be the only one with access to that one. And like I said, if I have to advise her as to what to do, if that book bullshit keeps on continuing, if I have to advise her what to do to get you all out of that house, I will do it. Because we spoke to you all. Unless the will, yes, you have a will, but the will is not permitted. As it stands, you have no right to the property. None whatsoever. So you cannot tell the lady if she does not abide by her rules, she has to leave. You cannot do that. That's illegal. You cannot do it. Now, miss, y'all have agreed to be in each other's space for the time being. That was before. She proved that she cannot stay with me. It's my thing. It's my thing. I listen to everybody. It's my thing. Y'all have agreed, or y'all had agreed to be in each other's space for the time being until whatever legal issues you have. When you say, if that's what you're inside, there's a little bit of cooperation among you. If I'm sleeping somewhere, and somebody is in full of at 5 o'clock in the morning, I will be able to what you feel in or whatever you feel in or whatever you feel in. I see nothing in them asking me to just put me on whatever it is. You know, listen, I have, that, I have that problem with you on Tuesday. You know, you feel to listen. It is not up to you to be telling me if you are allowed. As long as it's affecting somebody, then I'll give an example. If I eat something very wrong, and that's the same. To me, it will not be loud. But to you, it will be loud to you. Remember, I told you, so when you came here, you have to be. 
I told you on Tuesday. Unless you are going to charge me, whatever it is, do do what I told you, do what needs to be done, and do not take my I want to do it. And I'm going to say to you again, if you have an interest, whatever will, that is present. Now, Miss Florida, again, you have had that news from since January of 2021. The will has not been predicted. I explain that to you. I will never come to explain that to you. But as it stands. I understand, but it's not even a petition. Just talk to me. It does not it's matter. But you cannot, you cannot threaten to put her lady out of the house or ask her lady to leave. But you said this, but you said it in front of me. But you, but you just said it in front of me. You told her, you told her that she has to leave. But you cannot, you cannot make her leave. If anything, she has more right to put you out of the house than you have, then you have right to put her out of the house. I'm not going to do this again. I need them to leave because they're not willing to leave with me. If I accepted them to live in peace, because even in my house in Tampa, strangers, they come in my house and bathe, I feed them, I clothe them. How much more my own family? It is her, because it is so self-centered. I want everybody to live in peace and to reconcile the, the, the whole family. I ask her if she's willing to forgive Bernadette, my cousin. She said, Jimmy, Jimmy. She has a very unforgiving spirit and she's cutting everybody out. That is not how God wants us to live. We have to live in peace. And I will not lie, what I will speak of, they will not understand me. That's why they either hate me or love me. There is no in between. She's not willing to reconcile and to live in peace with the family. She wants to cut everybody out. That's why even me, I cannot even get out. My mother brings me food every day. Do you know for me to ask her to give me the key to open the gate? It's like she, she had to hesitate. Sometimes she walk herself all the way to the gate to open the Now, Miss Jones, like I told you, you have no right, no authority whatsoever. To even be in position of the battle. And I find that so ridiculous that you have a get off and you're the only one that can get the access to the food of the water. And you have no right to the water. Oh. 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 If you call it good for the three months to do what you have to do, you have no question for the water. And like I told her, go to a lawyer. We have to spoke to you. We told you, get patience for the two months. At the end of the day, it's not anybody's fault that you did not do what you were supposed to do from January of 2021. And I'm not going to come and take anybody's side. And that is not my job to take anybody's side. That is my job to do what the law requires. Now, she, like I said, has more right to the property than you. And if she makes a complaint of it, that she's been locked in or locked out of her property, then I will advise her what to do again. Just do the things the right way. You know, you know, that's not our solution. Solution to refuse to do the things the right way. Right now, there, I explained that to you on Tuesday. Right now, there, all you just have is just a piece of paper. That's all you just have, a piece of paper. No magistrate, no nothing can, can give you any right based on just that piece of paper. We told you the process is as you go through. And you're making noise for something that, like I said, in three months, it will be yours. But right now, there, it's not yours. And it's sad to see solutions always fighting for land. House and things, and you're dying, and you're leaving these things behind. Now, unless, like I said, you're going to do things the proper way, unless you're going to do things the proper way, as the law stands, if she makes a complaint, if she. If she makes a complaint again, you will know what to do.